Hello everybody, welcome back to episode number 28 and on this episode we're gonna go and meet Frank about uh, Mia so let's see what we gonna encounter right so let's go to Frank I mean everybody's happy with the radio and everything let's see this is Frank on radio free Villador your neighbor your city once more and forevermore signing off talk to me Frank ah he became productive that's really good look we started off on the wrong foot oh you're just saying it right now I'd like to correct that mistake have a drink yeah for me uh, Frank I really don't have time for this I I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that jewelry place. You get it? That's why we have to find Matt Pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? With those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we adjust the frequency, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Ah, interesting. Though he didn't actually help me on the way of finding Mia, but... Okay, that's also an interesting way because... Either way, we want to access that uh, database so that we can find everything we need to know about Waltz and his plans. And also finding Mia, so... A win-win situation, I guess. So, tell me more about the antennas. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. Okay, that's good. Wouldn't it be quicker to find Watts? It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time. But you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on. Then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on. So best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. Actually, he's right, yeah. I mean, just give me a sec, let's finish this conversation. Why did the renegades... Come to the central loop. So, yeah. You think Waltz ordered the renegades into the central loop? Well, until now, the colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately. What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X 13. Doesn't ring any bells. Hmm. All right. Anything else I should know? Anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. <laughs> this means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. 
but there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Biddy's hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. <laughs> and Lawan always wanted to be with them. Oh, little does she know that she's the one who created all of it. <laughs> Why not without her? Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. But you mean Hakon? You know him? <laughs> yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material, but he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bolted, and with it, tore apart the Night Runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. You truly believe Hakon's a coward? What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure. But they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I guess that's the end of the questions. <laughs> I'm on my way. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the Renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. All right. Ah. Okay. So before we leave, yeah. So let's see. Um. Hmm. My goodness, that conversation took like took most of the video <laughs> okay let's hurry up so as you can see uh the renegades have been you know going crazy and the areas that we didn't claim yet you know so basically i need to go to this tower to take this area and here i don't i don't i didn't even visit this area at all and here i barely visited it maybe just because of this airdrop i don't know my goodness okay so where is it at wait didn't i claim it huh now that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, off off camera, I've been doing some things around, collecting some airdrops. That's Good interesting. Day, <laughs> Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. All right. So yeah, see you guys all the way there. Why do you 
Fuck off with your blue Frank. Hey, Frank. That's, uh, that's way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. It's the fact that I climbed it twice because the first time I fell off the tower. Uh, yeah, let's just keep on going. Alrighty, oh, we are here. Ah, now I need to climb all the way up. Ah, at least the ladders are down. Ah, I've been here before. Oh, they respawn, that's good. Yeah, give me all that. Yet it's turned on, so it's supposed to, this icon's supposed to be green, but I don't know, man. Let's just go, yeah. Okay, finally! Yeah, I mean, I did it over here. I mean, for this antenna itself, but I guess now we need to do this one. Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Get the guy and head east. Walk in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street. Just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working and we can keep up with them. Got it. Oh my goodness, another antenna. Where is it at? Alright, let's go. <sighs> Tends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. Interesting, interesting. Wait. Wait a sec. Seems that I've missed it. <laughs> Woo, okay. Right, before we go, does that mean they... Nope, they're still here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically I go over here and... Whoop. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Off you go. Woo. Alright, let's play. <laughs> Ooh, I, um, I'm supposed to do something, but that didn't work. There it is. And down they go. <laughs> okay, yep, I already claimed that. Okay, let's do this.
Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. Over and out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Oh my goodness. Are we going to meet Waltz again? Hmm. Alrighty, we're here. Huh? What's this? Message one received April thirtieth, twenty twenty three at twelve thirty three PM. There's a lot of trees. Well, thunderstruck and yeah. Didn't I tell you it was all gonna get fucked up, didn't I? And you just laughed at the idea, crank freak. Fearmonger, everything is under control. But who's laughing now, dumbass? Feeling stupid now? I said it was gonna get fucked up. And it did. <laughs> now, buy a case of vodka and get your fat ass over here. <laughs> if we're going to say goodbye to the world, Let's have ourselves a fucking party! <laughs> that is interesting! <laughs> Alrighty, now for the main objective. Now to go on sea walls, right? Okay. Let's open it up. Hello, everybody. I want to introduce myself. See? What was right? These fuckers were dropping on us. Oh, no. <laughs> First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be employee. over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! <clears throat> okay, time to do some fighting. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, come on. Just give me a sec. Ooh. Okay. We need one of these. All right, fight me. Come on. You tired already? Come on, big guy. <laughs> ah, these guys are funny. I like them. Oh no. Alright. 
Let's heal up. Come on. Now for you, big guy. Oh no. Holy, how many are there? Okay. Holy, holy, that's a lot. Looking for the other guy. Where are you? Aiden, Aiden, you all right? Yeah, I am fine. What I think happened? so. Yeah, Walsh wasn't here, and they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. Huh? He wants to meet with you. What? I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Luan, too. Yeah, by the way, for anybody who didn't, uh... Like, okay, that that wasn't on camera, right. So, Luan has uh, been going, uh... Ghosts on us. We tried to contact her, we couldn't. So, yeah. Why do you think Hakon knows about Luan? Why do you think he knows anything about Luan? First of all, because she was after him. Yeah, that's what but I was also thinking. Also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. Hmm, interesting. What do you mean, something more? Wait, what do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon. And she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runners special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors. Not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a night runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Uh, yes, yeah, actually, I want to do this. <laughs> oh, Self-control. 